Welcome to All About Linux. I'm Shen Han and today I'll be discussing my thoughts on Manjaro 20.0.3 XFCE. Let's get started. XFCE, a lightweight desktop every Linux user knows for speed and performance. The results show Linux distros with XFCE desktops like Linux Mint 19.3 XFCE top the charts in my Geekbench test. The link to that video can be found up there. Do check it out. However, as I use Manjaro 20.0.3 XFC on the MacBook Air from 2012, I started to notice the lack of attention to detail more than the performance gains by going XFCE. You want to access the Manjaro settings, but why are there two menus? In my opinion, it should just be either the app drawer or the settings manager app in the system menu. Ever wondered why there are two file managers which are identical and placed together but named differently? Enter the Tuna file manager and file manager. Or the Steam belong to the games or internet section. It surely is a hard decision to make, right? But this is just me nitpicking on Manjaro 20.0.3 XFCE. As it is still a good performer and productivity OS overall. With useful utilities like sensor info or clipboard history pre-installed, sensor info reports the temperature readings from the temperature sensors in the computer, while clipboard history does exactly what its name states, a handy utility which stores your clipboard history. Steam is an example of bad categorization in Manjaro, but most other apps are well categorized. And just like with all recent editions of Manjaro, Manjaro 20.0.3 XFCE gives you the choice of your office suite, LibreOffice or FreeOffice. If you have just come from Windows 7 or 10, you would feel at home with Manjaro's 20.0.3 for XFCE's familiar desktop UI and start menu. My review doesn't just end here, we're still far from that so keep listening. It's amazing that you have come so far into the video. Before we continue with the review, Let's talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN protects your privacy and security online, unblocks geo-restricted content like certain Netflix libraries with features like its ultra-fast 1700 plus servers in 63 countries, industry-leading encryption, ad blocker, and many others. It works on an unlimited number of devices, from Android and iOS to Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, the Chrome and Firefox extensions. Best of all, you can get Surfshark VPN today 83% off for just $1.99 per month. In fact, if you are not satisfied with Surfshark, which you definitely won't, you may get a full refund within 30 days. Head over to surfshark.deal slash all about Linux and get Surfshark today. Thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Now, there is an alternative if you, like me, want to use the up-based Manjaro with its tweaks, yet having a beautiful UI with excellent attention to detail, enter Manjaro 20.0.3 GNOME. With, for a 4% higher idle CPU usage, you have now a UI which does not face the same design issues as Manjaro XFCE, a uniform and consistently designed one. You can have the same apps as Manjaro XFCE, Sensor info can be downloaded from the store, and you can get a more advanced version of clipboard history called GPACE, integrating well with the GNOME shell. So, if you can spare a bit more CPU usage and mind attention detail, use GNOME. If you want an OS lo solely made for productivity, then it's also lightweight, use XFCE. You won't be disappointed this way. But you know what people say, choose whatever makes you feel good. If XFCE's design pleases you, go for it. These are after all, just my opinions and I would like to know your opinions in the comment section too. With that, I conclude my take on Manjaro 20.0.3 XFCE. That's it for this video, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.